said it is time for the lightning round, a fast-paced look at the week in clean energy and climate news. And Brian, it's going to have to be doubly fast this week. So let's get started. Electric Montgomery County Public Schools, one of the largest school districts in the United States, has deployed the single largest electric school bus fleet in the country. It's got a total of 86, and it'll be fully electric in 10 years, and you cannot do this fast enough. Development in EU gas prices, apparently, their storage of uh, natural gas is full due to a warm autumn, an unexpected warm autumn. And prices have gone yeah. negative briefly. Plus, been pointed out that there's $2 billion worth of solar modules in EU warehouses waiting to be installed. From The Guardian, the Australian state of Victoria will likely switch from burning brown coal, the worst coal there is, for two-thirds of its electrical grid, right down to 100% renewables with storage before 2035. Uh, and it would be the fa one of the fastest transitions from a high-pollution power grid to near-zero emissions anywhere. That means it's time for a CES fast fact. From Carbon Brief, China just built more offshore wind capacity in 2020 alone than the rest of the world managed in the last five years. But here's another one. In 2022, oil producers reinvested only about 7% of revenues into their operations, compared to 25% in 2014 during the last boom. It tells you that they can see the writing on the wall, and they're trying to get as much money out of the system as possible as it sort of heads downward. They know it doesn't pay to spend more money on fossil fuel infrastructure. U.S. hydrogen fuel cell cars, uh, sales of said cars, decreased to 153 in the third quarter quarter of 2022. Brian, I bought more boxes of Girl Scout cookies in that time frame than uh, people bought hydrogen fuel cell cars. GM has unveiled the 2024 GMC Sierra. The specs thereof, this is their version of their pickup truck. Going to have a 400 mile, 640 kilometer range, 754 horsepower, 0 to 60 as low as 4.5 seconds. Interestingly, 800 volt architecture, and that means charging up to 350 kilowatts. From Ars Technica, New Jersey politicians want to ban subscriptions to car hardware like heated seats. Could be kind of awkward if they have to ban that in some places and not in others. Tesla is continuing its growth in Asia, including Japan, and has recently placed their 50th supercharger in Japan, according to Tesla Roddy. No, and Tesla still has a lot of countries that they could be expanding to and, and not that many inroads into Japan yet. Concrete accounts for 8% of global emissions, but a new Department of Energy policy would use $5.8 billion from the IRA, that is the Inflation Reduction Act, we're going to start calling it IRA now, to find ways to lower emissions. The bulk of the industry's emissions come from making the concrete powder. They have to heat that limestone in a kiln to 1,400 degrees Celsius. And 80% of the energy is made up of smaller operators. That's kind of one of the challenges, because you have to have the cement plants close to where you're pouring it within 60 right. to 90 minutes. Another CES fast fact. PM Sunak is the first British PM to have more money than the monarch. Brian, he's what? rich. He's that rich? He is that really? rich. Really? He is that oh, rich. Oh, my. <laughs> How many Teslas per supercharging station, you ask? Well, 750 to 1, or 80 cars on the road per stall. And that's 20% higher than the global average was a year ago. So all the sales are there, and they're still increasing the proportion of the chargers that are available to you. Stationary energy storage business could grow 150 to 200 percent per year, faster than cars by a mile, according to Elon Musk, who I just saw walking into Twitter holding a sink. <laughs> and finally, this week, strategically burying 5 percent of power lines, power lines in Florida, could reduce the number of residents affected by heatwaves, blackouts, following hurricanes by nearly 40 percent. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.